YouTube, what's going on YouTube? What is going on? What is happening, man? Of course, you got one more time, Deja Helix Jr. And I'm back with another fragrance video, all right? So we are back for the weekly rotation video covering the week of July the 2nd, all right? So we had a really dope um, week of fragrances because um, a few of the fragrances that I wore created conversations, all right? And I was able to have some out of the ordinary conversations when it came to fragrances, but we'll get into that in just a second. Um, Smell Good Family, hopefully everyone is doing well and experiencing positive energy and positive vibes. Y'all know how we give it up here on this channel, all right? So um, I really hope everybody's doing fantastic, all right? So excuse the hat, your boy tired, man. <laughs> Your boy tired, man, but this is what I love to do. And, um, you know, I know a lot of you look forward to this each and every week. So that's why we are here. All right. So let's go ahead and jump into it, man. On Sunday, on Sunday, I was really excited to give this uh, uh, a full wear for the first time. And I just enjoy the fragrance. I just enjoy it. From the House of Sphinx Fragrances, in collaboration with my guy Neve over at Aromatics, we have Coconut Daiquiri. Coconut Daiquiri, man. Listen, I enjoy coconut and rummy style fragrances. Coconut is one of my favorite notes for the warm months. But this one is a little bit different because of that sugary note, that sugary vibe that's placed in here. It is, it's good, man. It's just good. And I know, I know there's a lot of, you know, comparisons to this and uh, uh, Coco Loco, but to me, both are different and both wear different and both give you different experiences. Similarities a tad, yes, but this one right here is really good. The performance on this one is um, um, beyond above average on my skin. I got about nine hours, nine hours of really solid performance with this fragrance. And then the first hour or two, the projection on it, the sillage is just, uh, it's good. It's really good. So uh, shout out to Need, man, for really having a good product here. It's, you know, um, it's, as far as I'm concerned, this is good. From the House of Sphinx Fragrances, in collaborations with Aromatics, we have Coconut Daiquiri. Definitely will be wearing this more and more in the warmer months, all right? Up next, on Monday, we debuted a new fragrance from the House of Terra Dare Mans. We went with Old Intense Vetiver. Oh, Intense Vetiver. I like this stuff a lot, man. So I'm a huge fan of the EDT original, which I have. And I was hoping that this wouldn't be redundant. Now, when I was testing it out in the store, because I paid full, well, not full retail, my Father's Day gift cards paid for this. But um, smelling them in the store, you know, I was like, man, I don't want to get something that's redundant. I don't want to get something that's going to, you know, make me regret it. And upon, a, that's why you got to wear your fragrances. You got to get out and you got to give them a full wearing. The mid and the dry down is where the separation takes place between this and the EDT. Obviously, this is a little bit uh, more stronger, more intense, hence the name. But there's this amber wood balsam resinous that really shows up in the mid into the dry down. and almost gives this um, mild sweetness to accompany that vetiver, vetiver that makes a pleasant aroma. And um, I like this. I'm going to keep spending time with this. I really love the EDT. I love the Terra Dare Man's line. I have quite a few from the line, but this stuff right here kind of has my attention at the moment. And now once I get a hold on this, I'm going to see if it's necessary to get the parfum. So, uh, you know, stay tuned and see if that uh, purchase ever takes place. But this one is good on Monday uh, from the house of Terra Dare Man's. We have old intense vetiver. And I definitely got, I wore it to work and I definitely got uh, a couple gentlemen asking about the scent because they said they had never really smelled something like that in the air. So definitely a good conversation with Terra Dare Man's old intense vetiver. Up next on Wednesday, I have a permanent definition of what I'll be using this fragrance for because it's just clear cut to me, like the use I'm going to get out of it. From the house of Yves Saint Laurent. Yeah, yeah. We have Yves Saint Laurent's Why I sell Why EDP Intense. EDP Intense. It's like the Y DNA was stripped to its basics. Like what made up the DNA outside of the green apple, which is a uh, prominent note in this uh, DNA line, but removing that as well, everything else that's circled around it is what's in this bottle. A very basic, the, the most basic form of this DNA. And I'm not saying that to be negative because I'm not. For me, wearing this to the office is just where is the only place that I am going to wear this. It's the first thing I think about when I smell it, my experience with it is like, yeah, this is perfect for the office. It's 
even though the name Intense is in it, it's not super strong like the EDP can come off. It's not super smooth like the Lay Parfum. It's not super bright like the EDT. Um, this one just kind of has a little bit of everything, but it has a cap on it, if that makes any sense. But for me, why I said why, EDP Intense will be strictly for the office, inoffensive, just works, man. It just works, and I really enjoy it. Once again, on 4th of July, on Tuesday, we went with YSLY, EDP Intense. EDP Intense. All right, moving along to Wednesday. Man, this stuff is really, really good. I love the whole line. I have almost the whole line um, of these fragrances from the house of Narcisco Rodriguez. We have For Him, Blue Noir, the EDP. Um... I'm really falling in love with Vetiver, and this one is a more, a much more smoother Vetiver. Um, it's definitely probably a little bit more easier to wear than, say, a Terre d'Hermes. Um, it has like this ambery feel uh, with the Vetiver uh, that is in here, and it is so smooth. It's mature to me. It's a mature uh, style of fragrance. It's not playful at all, but it's definitely easier to wear. It's not just a real rindy, grindy experience with vetiver. So if you're looking for a different, classier take on vetiver, look at it is. Um, I wore it to the office on uh, Wednesday. <laughs> on Wednesday, and it held me down. I actually got a compliment early in the morning um, where I work, uh, you know, truck drivers come in and out and uh, walking by one first thing in the morning, I was stopped and he asked me about the fragrance I was wearing. I told him he had never heard about it, but he was just intrigued about the smell. So on Tuesday, on Wednesday from the house of Narcisco Rodriguez, we went to Blue Noir, for him, Blue Noir EDP. Just a huge fan of the line, but I would love to see them do something else as well with this line, all right? Um, good stuff all right on Thursday Thursday was a special day we went live with Miss Heather I'll have that um, live stream in the cars once this is over but thank you for everybody who came out and showed love man it was great and I want one of one of my favorite uh, designer houses and one of my favorite fragrances from the line from the house of Givenchy we went with Givenchy gentlemen EDP 2017 pineapple I mean pear iris pineapple fresh clean uh tad musk in the dry down but that pear and that iris are the two biggest stars in this fragrance to me on my skin i get great performance even though this is an edt concentration i firmly believe this is like a, a skin chemistry thing for me the iris and the pear they just work well together and how this was put together and designed and and and, and when i'm wearing on my skin man it's just an all-star it just works and I love it. it's one of my favorite from the house um, I always get complimented by this one woman in particular who I work with it's like she knows it when I have it on and I got a decent dent in this bottle so I've worn it quite a bit so um, I find it like cool that she can pick up the scent whenever I wear it and she always says you're the only one you're the only one I've ever smelled that on so that's pretty cool too on Thursday from the house of Givenchy we went with Givenchy Gentleman 2017. One of my favorites for sure. Definitely one of my favorite designer houses. All right, on Friday. On Friday, it was a little bit rainy out. I love to wear this when it's a little breezy, like kind of lightly humid, but still warm and a little bit rainy. From the house of our mom, from the Club Dana Wheat Line, we went with Siage. Siage. For those who don't know, this is a direct inspired 1A, 1B clone, 2 Creed, Sylvan Mountain Water. Me personally, I prefer this over Sylvan Mountain Water. Even though it's a little bit of synthetics going on here, um, especially in the opening, but um, as far as what this offers in its full performance and in the, in, uh, uh, the full presentation, the performance, especially in the mid to the dry down, I just kind of rock with them more. I have a decan of Silver Mountain Water, and one day I may acquire a full bottle of Silver Mountain Water. And I'm not disrespecting Creed, all you niche heads out there, take it easy on me. But I just, I don't know, I just like this a little bit better. That's just my preference currently. And uh, it performs really, really well. I always get compliments on it, and it's just good. It just fit what type of day that I had going on for sure. Um, on Friday, from the house of our mom, from the club, in the Wheat Line. We went with the Siage. Really good stuff here, man. Really good stuff. 
All right, and last but not least, I wore two fragrances on Saturday. I was in the mood for this DNA and uh, I wore a clone to it. And uh, this house just does it really well. From the house of Alexandria, we went with Hashi Vaz. Hashi Vaz, this is a direct inspired fragrance from Nishane's Hashi Vaz. This one has matured so beautifully. I've had this almost, uh, not almost, I've had this about a year and a half now. And it's matured so beautifully, man. That's It's really gotten sweeter in the pineapple in the opening. That pineapple bergamot, really more on the pineapple side. It's just a quick boom. It maybe lasts five to ten, no, yeah, five to ten minutes. And then the strong oak moss really starts to take over just like in Hashiva. Very similar. This is about 95% accurate with Hashiva, which I have decant of as well from Nishane. And I don't know, maybe one day I will get me a full bottle of uh, Hashiva. I'm sure that I will, but right now I'm not pressed because Hashiva just does a great job. And I don't know if y'all can see that dent in there. But it's it's in there. I've worn this stuff quite a bit, and I was just in the mood. I get the I get the Creed Aventus comparisons, um, but to me this kind of does its own thing. But I understand it because I say it like you know the the quick opening and it's kind of getting into the oak balls probably like in the first 15 minutes. But then after that, this just kind of does its own thing. From the House of Alexandria fragrances, we went Hashi Vibes. Hashi Vibes. All right. And then on Saturday evening, uh, one of my sisters is getting ready to relocate. So we had a uh, gathering for her. Um, me and my family, we all got together. It was like late afternoon, and, uh, early evening. So I decided to wear this. It was still warm out, but it wasn't as like muggy and chokeholdy with the weather. I went with this debuted from the house of Nishane. We went to Umbra Calabria. Got a compliment from my granddad. <laughs> my granddad said that, oh, you smell good. He didn't inquire what it was, but he said, oh, I like that. That smells good, grandson. That smells good. So that's really cool, man, especially for me and for my granddad to, you know, pick this up. The, the other, only other one he's picked up when I've been around him was uh, Chanel's Edition Blanche. Edition Blanche. He's picked that up as well. But this is a very intriguing fragrance. It's kind of like you like it or you don't from what I'm seeing um, on YouTube, but I like it. You got this green um, touch, this uh, green freshness and this green touch but followed by that you get this kind of vanilla sweetness that kind of gets a hold of it mashes it up and creates this beautiful like scent that could be confusing like a green vanilla fragrance <laughs> that's what i get got some spices in here for sure there's a little bit of dense a little bit more of a body to this fragrance that you probably would think of when i say green you probably think a little bit more brighter a little bit more fresher even though freshness is in here the vanilla in here really tames it down and creates a nice pleasant aroma so this is what i wore on saturday evening can't wait to spend more time with it in uh so, you know, see what it all has to offer. But on Saturday night, from the house of Nishane, we went with Umbra Calabria. Calabria. All right, smell good family. So those were the fragrances that I wore, <laughs> that I wore uh, all last week during the week of July 2nd. Hopefully everybody had a good 4th of July and had a good time. Everybody was safe with the fireworks and had plenty of barbecue and all that good stuff, all right? So y'all know how it goes. Let me know what you guys wore down below in the comments. My favorite video of the week. Love chopping it up with y'all, um, especially when it comes to, you know, what fragrances that you guys wore throughout the week, all right? So um, until next time, y'all know what it is, man. Splack it up, splack it down, splack that thing all around. And we're on the road to 7K. Once we hit 7,000 subscribers, we'll be doing another giveaway. All right, remember, remember, y'all what you put out in this world what you do is exactly what you're going to get back keep that in mind all right y'all be cool be safe man check y'all next time your boy tied